What are you doing as a team or what are you thinking about doing for your team to help ensure or mitigate burnout knowing that there is just so much to be done? Yeah, it's, it's um, I feel like it's a never ending uh, battle or I don't even want to call it a battle. It's just a challenge. It's something you're going to constantly have to manage because things are always going to come up. Um, so I kind of talk about what we do um, as a team, but I'll also talk about my personal side of things. So um, as a team, we meet um, because we're spread out all over the globe and we, we've been remote. We've never had an office, so we've been remote always. Um, with maybe a few exceptions, but um, we check in on WhatsApp every day. People send what are you just what are you working on today, um, and so that's that's one thing. We have a weekly call on Monday nights in Boston time, um, just to for a half hour, just to connect as a team. You may share a little bit about work, but it's really like the human connection, mm. um, and just those little things can can go a long way in terms of perspective, um, just being able to talk, um, yeah. things like, like that. So there's, there's something about making sure that we're still connecting, um, especially in a virtual, virtual world. Um, the other thing, and this is something I'm not necessarily great about, but I'm working on it is, um, doing like things together. So, you know, if you had your top three priorities, you'd have, you know, uh, for me, it'd be it'd be work, it'd be family, and friends. Um, mm. And uh, too often, I think we think of those things as, as separate. And how can we find moments in a busy, busy time where you may be able to satisfy maybe not all three, but two out of three with one activity that's joint. Um, so I like to do my crossword puzzles, but I also like to spend time with my family. Maybe I do a puzzle with my daughter, you know, who just got a new one for her birthday. It's a frozen one. It's sweet. Um, so, this is so um, powerful. 